Um, Talk sport has trained experts like Merck. Yes, and this is what they do. So they add the fan channel element with the outrage and the crazy takes, but they have then the money. Because if you wanted Danny Murphy on a show like this, you are looking at like a five grand to 10 grand fee. We don't have the money for that. So what happens is, is they can pay the stars to be there and they mix it in with the fan channel element and they win because people are attracted to the bright lights. You know what I'm saying? It's honestly, it's um, I'm not saying don't work with them. I'm not saying don't take jobs. I'm stating fan channel stop fighting and work together. It's very, very important indeed. Um, this uh, I wanted to, North London Derby's coming up, gents. Calafuri is come home injured. Your your twin brother Giuseppe has come home injured. How worried are you about that injury? Rice being missing, Moreno not being available, Gabriel Jesus being out. You've got to go to the old enemy this weekend. Are you feeling is is the old April going a little bit? You know what? Uh, I'm, I'm, it's, can it's, I just say, uh, I noticed how Giuseppe's not even wearing his team colours today. See me, I can't oh, wear get my flag because it's a big week. I'm at my ground, so I'm just making it feel a bit. Yeah, yeah you are wearing no, purple. No, you are wearing purple, actually. Way, you're wearing way you're, atmosphere. You're, get used to it. Nice nah, blue. It's blue. Wearing it that for the Azzurri. That is purple. That's the light. It's blue. It's <laughs> Azzurri. <laughs> Arsenal. It's purple. Um, Italy. But but on the, on the North London derby, um, I'm I'm all right with it. I'll, we'll see. It's not going to be easy. It never is. Listen, the North London derby is the game where I never get nervous until the day. And on the day, I, I get really... But I get nervous when we're the one that is looking like, oh, it's going to be easy for us. And they've got this and that. Like I'm nervous regardless when it comes to North London derby because definitely I don't know if it's like from when I was at school near, near where where I'm from like around London and that school it was like so many Arsenal and Tottenham it was bragging rights in it like the next day at school you knew what it was when you won and you knew what it was when you didn't win but um yeah the Califuri one is is annoying I don't think it's that one don't bother me as much. It's not the end of the world. We haven't been relying on him this uh, season so far. He's just been doing this thing. I think he's actually going to be all right for the game. I think we brought him back just so. I think we forced him back because we didn't want them playing him in the next game, maybe. Because I think it might not actually be as bad as like certain platforms were making out. And they were maybe going to put him on the bench, potentially use him in the next game. And Arsenal were like, no, 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 no. We want him back because we've had a few injuries. The Declan Rice one, listen, like Spurs might as well give their paycheck to my man, the, the ref from the last game that he ain't playing in the North London derby. Because that was that was wild. But it is what it is. I weren't here, obviously. Uh, I've been busy last week. So I, I didn't ever get to speak on that red card, uh, the disgrace of the red card. But. Forget that. That's in the past. Declan Rice out. Moreno oh, out. Geez. Listen, Spurs. Hey, listen. It's all. It's all going right. Spurs for Spurs' way. So if Spurs don't win, I'm not. Go, I'm not going to say it like that. But if we beat Spurs a third time in a row at their ground, missing all these players and that, it might not look great. It, Spurs might start uh, panicking a little bit. But I've, we've still got <laughs> enough to beat them. 100. percent We still got enough. We still got enough to beat them uh, with the players out. Um, because we've got our defense. Giuseppe thinks we've he's got smart. Our... Haven't you guys noticed? Giuseppe thinks he's smart here. He's well, trying, trying, he's to, trying to deflect the you. pressure. He's trying, he's trying to push the pressure back onto Spurs. Like Arsenal aren't the title challengers. Like Arsenal aren't supposed to be, you know, challenging City. You're supposed to be taking them the long way. You've got, you've got to trip up to the air. He had soon, but but no, no, but wait, wait, Giuseppe, no, let's have it. Right, right, let, no, let, let, let's not do this. Yeah, you have to win this weekend. You've dropped points already this season. City are rolling. They're steaming. They're going to go to Brentford, pick up their points, you know, get the win midweek against Watford. And then when they're waiting for Arsenal and you're, you're going to their ground, Haaland's been on fire. Gundogan hasn't even got going. Foden hasn't even started the season. This is where it's really going to start getting cooking. So you've already dropped points. City haven't. You have to win this weekend. Don't try to deflect the pressure. But let, let's have it. What we're coming to do, you're coming to our ground. Like you said, three wins in a row, that's not going to happen. It's never happened before. We're not going to let it happen. We've got players coming back. Dom Solanke, Van der Ven. We've got players coming back. We've got our first team back for once because the past couple of games, as we've seen, Jeez. Everton, Newcastle, we've been missing our number nine. We've been missing someone in the middle. And Dom solanke has been waiting. He's been itching. He's been on the sidelines. We didn't want to rush him back. We thought, let's be patient because the North London Derby's coming up. And I'm telling you now, 
He's gonna pull the arrow up. He's scoring. He's scoring. He, he's he's been waiting for it, man. And and we have too. So I I can't wait for this game. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. It's definitely gonna be a tough one. No one's gonna make it seem like we're gonna go come and come and batter Arsenal. But I've got a feeling we're gonna spoil your spoil your party because let, let's be real now. Like I said, the pressure's on you guys. It's not on us. Every, and everyone's been writing off Spurs this season. Everyone's been saying Spurs ain't going to do nothing. Spurs ain't going to finish in the top four. Spurs are rubbish. Spurs are done, apparently. But we're, we're, we're silently keep doing our thing. Although the results haven't come so far, the season's only early. We're, we're going to cook yeah. up a lot sooner. So uh, unlike the past few seasons where we started off really quick and then we've traded out later on, I think Spurs are going to be a lot more steady this season. We're going to pick it up as it keeps going. So this game, um, second home game I in the season, I can't wait for it. I'm telling you now. George, I agree. To an extent, and I disagree to an extent. As a fan, I get you. You haven't got the pressure. But as a club, when they're you're, we're now coming to you and they're saying, brother, you cannot let these guys win for yeah, the yeah, third time in pressure. a row yeah, on your yeah, home soil. Yeah, your biggest rivals. Yeah, this, this and that. Plus, you've dropped points twice this season already. You've drawn two games this season, right? So this will be out of four games. If you if you lose or drop points in this game, you've only won one game this season out of four. There's also big pressure on you. And I think for me, obviously you've got your players back. We've got some, I think Jesus is reportedly going to be back for the North London derby. Um, we've also got, we've also got, uh, uh, obviously. Is that the best striker in London, they call him, ain't it? I don't know how he's going to, I don't know how he's going to, I don't know how he's going to pan out. But we've also got Sterling that's going to probably want to make a statement first game against the high line. You never know. He's going to want to show something. He's Chelsea, you know, he's, he's, he's always played decent against Spurs in 2024, well, so. we're supposed to be scared. Ooh. No, I'm not saying be scared, but he's going to have a point to prove in it playing his first game. And, and if you want to give back, if you want to give something to the Arsenal fans in the club, that's the game to do it in. He comes in the game and scores a winner or something, then all of a sudden that signing, all the fans turn to it as more of like, oh, this might not be a bad signing sort of thing. Do you know what I mean? But listen, it's going to be a tough game. It always is, even when we're dominating the league, even the, the, the years where we had um, Thierry Henry and stuff, it was never easy going to away at Arsenal for us, um, going away at Spurs for us. So that that is just how it is. Um, but it's early. Oh, listen, it, we've got two hard games. We've had a hard start to the season, isn't it? That's what I've said. And um, people laughed at me when I said if we win our first five, I think we'll go and win, we'll go on to win the league. That's now voided because we ain't won our first five because we've already drawn with Brighton. So people can't even hold me to that anymore. But that's why I said if we win our first five, because if you look at the games we had in there, even Brighton was a tricky one. I know the ref for me ruined the game, and I think if the ref didn't make the stupid dumbass decision, he did then we win the game still, but you got to take them. Listen, when you battle City, I've always said when you battle City, you've got to, you can't let games lean into the ref's hands. You've got to just win games, bro, because they're You know why you can't blame the ref as well? Because you you had chances. Saka had a chance. Havertz had a chance. They should have buried it. Yeah, so yeah, you can no, only look at yourself. Of course, of course. Say, you, you, no. can't, you can't fully blame the ref, but you can, I can still blame incompetence from the ref in the game, in my opinion. I'm not saying that's the reason, the sole reason we didn't win the game, of course, but he was still incompetent in that game, in my opinion. And and the incompetence come from the fact that I've seen many players do that and not get cards. The fact that he believes he can't just tell Rice that, you listen, you're on a yellow card. I could send you off for that. One more stupid thing and you're off. The fact that John Pedro didn't get yellow carded in the first half for booting it halfway across the pitch when it went off for a throw, all these things. But regardless, it's what bothered me more of him getting sent off is that he ain't playing this game. I'll be honest, that that was what pissed me off the most about him getting sent off was he's missing the North London derby. Um, shame we didn't get that Jude Bellingham treatment of he can choose when to when to hold that 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 ban. But no, um, listen, I, I think we'll beat Spurs still. I, I actually do think we're gonna beat you. Like I think that we're gonna go into that game. I think that I think it actually I think it's actually gonna be worse for Spurs in this game that Arsenal are going in. Kind of like, people gonna it's gonna the, the it's gonna be said that we're kind of going in as the underdogs now. You know that it's gonna that's how it's gonna be perceived. If you believe it or not, if you believe it or not, not. with Rice being out, Moreno being out, the Calafuri thing, people are gonna start painting the picture that Arsenal are it's a weakened Arsenal side. Question: You laugh there, George? Are you saying Arsenal are better than you and are favourites at your ground? No, 
but the, but but the, as I said, apparently Spurs are shit. Spurs are not supposed to finish top four. That's yeah, what but, everyone's been yeah, saying. So far. Yeah, well, I'm gonna. What, I'm what, what do you say? What do you? What do you say? I know. I, 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 you I, know I get what, that. I, I already said. I expect Spurs to win every time I play Arsenal. You, I come on this channel. I tell you, I expect my team to win. <laughs> off and I'll be off on my chest out wherever it needs to go. Spurs need to come and do the business this weekend, and I expect us to do the business this weekend, especially because they're coming to our home ground, especially because they beat us the past two games. The last game they didn't deserve it, but they they done the job. We can't even talk about it. So, I expect mm. us to go there and get the job done. I expect us to win this weekend, and. Boy, like, I, like you said, you can be confident in your team. I look at Arsenal and I say, like I said, no rice, you're missing your anchor. The midfield is definitely somewhere where I think you're going to lose a lot of control. The one thing about Spurs so far this season, as you can see, again, check the stats. Um, I'm, I'm not a fully stats person, but I, I've watched my team enough to know we take control of games. We, we, we completely smother teams. Um, and I feel like this, we at times, this is going to happen to Arsenal. We're going to get full control of the of them and knowing Arsenal they're not going to sit back um nine, eight or nine edge of the box they're going to try press us and we're going to break through them and with son uh we, we already know son you he only needs one chance especially against Arsenal he loves a goal in the North London derby Sonny give him one chance and boy I think that we get it's it's going to be a game with goals I, I definitely know that I'm not going to sit here and say that my my defense is it, it, it all is leaky. There is a there is a goal or two always available in this defense because we play such a high line. It's a risky game. With Van der Ven back, we won't be concede as many chances like we did against Newcastle in the transition. But I, I still like I respect Arsenal's attack to know that with Saka and with Pedro Porro out on the right and potentially Raza, he could take advantage of him. Pedro Porro's positioning is pretty bad at times. He, he often leaves gaps open in the defense and. He, he loves to, you know, fly forward. So at times, they're, they're le our left side, um, our right side and their left side, probably they'll take mm -hmm. advantage of it. But I still think that we're going to have more firepower than I think we're going to take more control of the game and I expect us to go and win, man. 2-1, 3-1, one, one, like, it's, it's, we're going to uh, do the business. Uh, yeah, just, Giuseppe, if you lose, Giuseppe, if, if you lose or get a draw, especially considering, like, start of the season, I think a lot of Arsenal fans, but also a lot of neutrals were saying, you know, Arsenal really look, they look like they're ready to win this league this season. How much of a blow is that going to be if you're four points, five points behind? Yeah, Liverpool, I think, I still think people maybe uh, don't think we're going to gonna win it. But obviously, City are there. Is that going to be a big blow if you guys end up four or five points behind City? It will. It, do you know what? The, it will be a blow, 100%. The only thing is, I will say, is it's happened right at the start of the season, which could end up being a bit better for us than it happened in, in December, January time, yeah, sure. which happened in pre previous seasons it's right at the start. That's why there was a part of me that was like, although we've started the season with these shit ton of hard fixtures, yeah, it's not the worst getting them out of the way. Because say you do have a little sloppy period there, you can then go on a stupidly good run at the second half of the season and that. And, and we've seen City do the same thing. Obviously, we're not City. But we've seen City start a bit not on it as much and then go on to go on a stupid run. Now, we'd have to obviously see City drop points. But even Spurs away, City drop points there often. I know last season they didn't. That's a different story. That's a different talking point. But, yeah, I think it'll be a blow if we lose. Loss 100%. I think draw is still a big blow. And I, I think it would take a lot of confidence out of the Arsenal fan base. It would all it would all go on to the next game, how we play City. Because say we draw against mm -hmm. Spurs, oh, but then we go and yeah. beat and then we go and beat City at the Etihad the next game, then it will swing the the tides of the, the confidence. That's it's a tough two games, man. Like we I don't think Arsenal fans could have asked for a tougher two games uh, for for our fan base. Yeah. Obviously, if you chucked Anfield in there, maybe, but the the, the Especially emotion of the Spurs yeah. thing. You've got midweek games in between both of them as well. Yeah, one Champions, Champions League away League. game. Like, and, and that's another thing that like I don't like that's like really a tough one because we play away on the Thursday in Italy, and then we've got uh, on the Saturday or Sunday we have City and City play at home on the Wednesday, and then we've got them on the I know it's a day and we're away, like it's little things, but it is little points. So you're like, no, that, damn, that, everything that, that, make, that, make, that makes away. an impact. That 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 certainly makes an impact. It does. Um,